What have we here? Oh. Looks like you lured another man in here, you little whore. No, I didn't. Uh, please, help me. Let's see just how shameless you are, you dirty little skank. Say hello to my little friend. Uh, no, not again. Help me! Um, officer. Officer, can I talk to you for a minute? I mean, uh, look, what did that woman do? This seems a little, like. Uh, Shut your pie hole! If you try to interfere with official police business, start with you before I get to her! <laughs> You're guilty! <laughs> Looks like 72 yards. I can blow his head off clean from here. Can I take a shot, Dad? Getting a headshot from here is no big deal, Jack. Think you can pull it off, Thomas? But, Daddy, he ain't no zombie. He's just a man. Thomas! We're doing this to survive. You know that. Using a firearm for self-defense is our God-given right as Americans, Thomas. Come on, Thomas, shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him, Thomas! I said shoot him. You, Thomas. Now! What are you waiting for? Do it!
this anyway are you a reporter let go I won't run so let go you're hurting me how much do you already know have you called for help? Hold your horses, babe. I'm the one asking the questions here. What is Santa Cabeza, and how is it connected to all this? The zombies were created by you, not us. That's what Carlito wants you all to know. Who? If you want to interview someone, talk to Carlito. He has all the answers. You're talking about that guy that took pot shots at us with a sniper rifle, aren't you? Take me to him. No. Not now. He's injured. And in no mood to talk to anyone. I'll bring him to you once he's recovered. I can persuade him. I'm his little sister, after all. Why should I trust you to bring him to me? The zombies are a message from Carlito. He wanted people to know. Fine. Go. When will you be back? Tonight at midnight. Wait for us in the store next to the camera shop in the North Plaza. I'm Isabella, by the way. 
And I promise, I'll come back. You learn anything new on this end? Santa Cabeza is a stronghold of the Central American drug trade. The professor here seems to think that the zombies are a byproduct of these drugs. So you're telling me, what, that somebody spread a bunch of zombie drugs around Willamette? For what? What would making the dead come to life accomplish? They're terrorists. Don't try to explain their actions with logic. I've analyzed the drug in question, and I've reported my findings to the government. <coughs> that must be what set them off. <coughs> that they, they didn't want to be <coughs> exposed. <coughs> I've... I've told you everything I know! Now get me out of here! <coughs> Call for help and kill those creeps! <coughs> Carlito. I tried to talk him into coming, but it was no good. He, he doesn't trust anyone. He shot you? He didn't mean to. He was upset. I don't know what he'll do next. Hey. Hey. She hurt? Yeah. You're looking at the bad guy's sister. Bad guy? The one who caused all this? That's right. Her asshole brother caused the zombie outbreak.
His sister? What in the hell is going on here? I mean, does this have anything to do with that announcement earlier? I don't know much more than you at this point, okay? But he shot her, I can tell you that. And just so you know, that would be the same guy that shot you. What's he after? What's his ultimate goal? I don't know. But according to her, his plan isn't over. Not yet. Fine. Consider her in DHS custody. We'll question her when she wakes up. What is your name? Isabella. Isabella Keys. Well, Isabella, this is an emergency, so we'll skip the formalities and cut to the chase. Consider this an official interrogation. Tell me everything that you know. Fine. I'll explain why all of this is your fault. There was no drug trade in Santa Cabeza. Just an American research facility. They were doing research on some sort of parasitic insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. If you don't believe me, just ask the man who was in charge of that research. The head of the Santa Cabeza Livestock Research Facility, Dr. Barnaby! Huh? Huh? Jesse! He's starting! He's starting! Tell me 
the truth, Doc. Were you conducting experiments with zombies? So the government's now in the zombie-making business. The whole story about the drug trade was a cover-up? What do you know? We were trying to mass produce cattle. Do you have any idea how much meat Americans consume? That research was absolutely necessary! village. The people turned into zombies. Those damn wasps. They escaped from the lab. It wasn't long before they got to work. Some spread. The army was called in. They killed everyone. Terrorism is a retaliation for a cruel government cover-up. Sounds plausible. Or it could be some serious bullshit. In either case, we have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. I know I have no right to ask, but please, let me help. If you don't get out of here, the truth dies with you. <clears throat> All right. If allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us, I'm all for it.
Turn your tainted blood to the foul earth that has spawned you. Ego puto vos insisto vos. Are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? Hey! Fantastic! Yeah! Thanks. Son of a bitch.
Okay. Go to hell. Got it. Right. Go! Exactly what is this last resort talk all about? Carlito said that he'd blow up the mall if he were cornered. <laughs> Damn! We've got a regular suicide bomber on our hands. It's than what you're thinking. The explosion would send parasitic larvae into the atmosphere. He plans to spread zombies outside of the city? Is he insane? If that bomb goes off, there'll be nowhere to run. The zombies will be everywhere! He's planning to flood the area underneath the mall with flammable gas, then set it off! If you could take care of the bombs while the gas concentration is still low... There's a chance we could stop the explosion. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> 